set it in the kitchen. We gotta get all this unloaded before dark. You should hold it by the bottom. These boxes have seen better days. I should just lie down for a while. But I thought we needed to finish this. We do. I just need a little break. We'll finish it later. I promise. Okay? Yeah, sure. Tyler Evans, I just moved here and need to register for classes. Okay, Tyler, we can take care of you. Uh, do you have your paperwork? The papers. No. Oh. I'm sorry, I, I think I, I must have left them back at the house. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I, I'm just right down the road. I'll just go get him. I'll go get him. No, in the meantime, um, I can have something to show you around. Yeah, perfect. See? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back in a heartbeat. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm Paige. I'm supposed to show you around. Andrew? Andrew. Mr. Stevenson will see you now. Morning. There you have it. I hope it was informative. It was. <laughs> Thank you. like to be new and all alone. If you have any questions or if you need anything, just call me, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. Everything taken care of? Yes, your mother brought back all the appropriate paperwork. You're all squared away. She's waiting for you outside. Thank you. Sorry about that again. No worries, we got it all sorted out. Here's your schedule. Could you also tell me where I get the bus? We don't bus students that live less than a mile from school. Okay, thank you anyway. You're welcome, have a great day.
Whoa, easy there, champ. I, I'm sorry. Mr. Stevenson, right? Yeah, have we met? Hey, I'm... Oh, sorry about that. I'm Tyler. I just moved here. And this girl, Paige, just showed me around. She mentioned who you were. Yeah, I know Paige. She's one of our best students. Keep her close. She's a great person to know. Well, look, I hope you like it here. Uh, we'll see. I mean, thanks. I, I do, too. That was nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you. Okay. I'll see you. All right. Sorry, I'm Tyler Evans. I just transferred. Today's my first day. There are paper towels by the sink. Clean yourself up and take a seat, please. Before we get started, I'm sure you've all heard the devastating news about Derek. He passed away this morning at the hospital. He was a fun-loving and caring young man with a lot of heart, and his death is a tragic loss for all of us. Let's take a moment of silence, please. So guess what? You got it, didn't you? Hell yeah, I did. Thanks, Mom. Shut up. It was a birthday present. Hey, I'll be lucky if I get a birthday card this year. How fast does it go? I haven't really had the chance to test her out yet. I'm gonna head out tonight, see if anyone's up to take me on. Speed kills, dude. Living on the edge. It's the only way to do it. Yep, right until you fall off. And how do you feel about his new toy? I think it's sexy. You guys see the new kid? Heard he pissed his pants in class today. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. Poor bastard. He doesn't stand a chance. Come on, guys, get tough. Let's fight. Anything to me is in our sight. Come on, guys, get tough. Let's fight. Anything to me is in our sight. Look who it is. Isn't that the new kid? Yeah. Check this out. Whoops! My bad. Damn. Thanks. <laughs> kind of depressing, huh? Looking down there, wondering why you're sitting up here. They sure have it a lot easier. They don't have much. 
You have all the pretty girls. Oh. Unfortunately, it looks like the only things they got going for them. The girls. The girls, that is. <sighs> I'm injured. Injured? What kind of an odd name is that? And you are? Tyler. Tyler? What kind of an ordinary name is that? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. So what do you think? What do you think of this place so far? I can tell not a lot goes on here. Touche. I knew you were smart. I'm not gonna lie, this place sucks. Well, that's reassuring. Yeah, well, it's always kind of been a low-key place. Is that why it's crawling with cops? <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe once in a while this place gets exciting. I haven't been to too many schools that have their own police force. Mr. Stevenson's a joke. Keep those balls out of your face. <laughs> see you around? I'll see you. give my number to anyone. I, I, I didn't know if you uh... I'm messing with you. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> what the hell, Paige? That's my seat. I don't see your name on it. Keeping the balls out of your face today? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, haven't had any issues with that today. Good, because I'm not grabbing any more for you. Come on, let's eat. Dude, what the hell is Indra doing? He's not gonna really bring him over here, is he? God damn. Guys, this is Tyler, Tyler, Wes, Brian, and Josh. Nice to meet you. Hey. So, Wes. I was living on the edge. Hmm. Got her up to 120 last night. She still can climb. Destroyed everybody. <laughs> You're mortals. That is a nice ring to it. Be sure to have that etched into your headstone if your luck runs out. you hunt did you know that Derek kid no he was killed in a hunting accident wasn't he well I guess his colors just weren't bright enough Ugh. 
girlfriend? Um, no, not anymore. What happened? Nothing could ever last, I. So, uh, what's your mom do for a living? My mom's always in and out of jobs. It's hard to keep track. And what about your dad? It's just me and my mom. My dad left when I was really young. What about you? What do your parents do? Um, my mom's a real estate agent, and my dad works for some food company. I rarely see them. To be completely honest, I've written them off. What do you mean? Parents have a uh, responsibility to be there for their kids, right? Yeah. Well, uh, obviously mine have forgotten about me, so just returning the favor. So fuck them. How's your new buddy? What are you talking about? You made me look like an asshole the other day in class. Yeah, well, that's what you are, so you shouldn't be too surprised. Well, <clears throat> good luck trying to find someone willing to put up with your stupid shit. Maybe if you would grow up and stop acting like a child, someone would actually want to be with you. Oh. Don't cry. Okay. No one's around to care. Boyfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's none of my business. I'll leave you alone. No. Please stay. It's nice to have someone to talk to. <laughs> it's my fault for putting up with it. You'll never change. Some things never change, I guess. Some people never change. I'm just stupid. No, you're not. Don't say that. <laughs> One day, you will find someone who will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Well, well, well. What's going on here? Indrid, this is Paige. Paige, this is Indrid. Hi, Indrid. Ah, uh, so, taking a break from tutoring the borderline failures at the library, are we? I have to get to class. Thank you. It's me. I'm out with 
with a friend. They'll be back later. Just thought I'd let you know. Don't wait up. Hello, Miss Evans. This is Beverly from Dr. Martin's office. I'm calling to make sure that you were aware that your interview was today at 4 p.m. I apologize if there was a misunderstanding. Please call us back to reschedule. Thank you. tonight. Get your things. Let's go. Dude, what time is it? The night is young, Ty. Saddle up. I don't know if I feel like it. Give me a break. You need to get out more. Okay, um, just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. I'm injured. A friend of Tyler's from school. Where is Tyler? He's in his room. <sighs> Getting ready. <sighs> How long have you lived here? Excuse me? This room. It's so plain. Some bright colors would definitely add some life to this place. Yeah. I've been thinking about doing something like that. Maybe. <clears throat> Perhaps some photos. Family photos. Be a nice touch also. Don't you think? What do you do all day? It's really none of your business. Well, it was really nice meeting you. Tyler, where are you going? Out. Oh, and by the way, might want to check the answering machine. Seemed pretty important. to be honest. Mm. Hi, Andred. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hold this for you. I have to take a piss. So, how you been? Good. Age. <laughs> oh. Well, well. Isn't this cute? Matt, please, this is not the place. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah? Okay, well, then, what is the place? What is the right place? Huh? What the hell are you doing here? Matt, stop. Shh, shh, shh. He's a big boy. He can speak for himself. Can't you, big boy? You don't belong here. Come on, Tyler, let's get out of here. 
That was your problem, dude. You're my problem. Matt, stop it, please. Thanks for saving my ass. No problem. Maybe if you wouldn't invest your time in girls that are taken, this could have been. What you you told me that she she was I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> Get out of here. See you later. Smart ass. Can you ever just keep your mouth shut for once? You always just gotta put in your two cents, don't you? You talk big for such a little guy, you know that? And what are you gonna do about Okay, that's it? enough to the both of you. Indrid, get out of here. Get out. Try to start a new ship today? I wouldn't put it past them. Be sure to sit with your back against the wall. Dude, what the hell? Stop! Not so tough. Now, how are you? Mm -hmm. Back to class, come on. Show's over, come on. Get back to class. What happened? All right, I won't keep you long. I just gotta fill out this report, and then uh, send you on your way. Have a seat. Did you always do school security? No, not always. I used to be a cop, actually. So how did you end up doing this? Well, I quit the force a while back. At the time, it seemed like the best thing to do. My wife hated it anyway. Why'd you quit? So 
had a close call one night when I was out patrolling alone. Close call? I'm sorry, that's, that's none of my business. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. It's been a long time since I talked about it, that's all. It's a, uh, home invasion. The guy was attacking a woman. He had a young daughter. He had a gun. I tried my best to talk some sense into him, you know? But, uh, things deteriorate pretty quickly, you know? What happened? People got hurt. Many characteristics of an organism are inherited and carried through the generations. Some characteristics are chosen for. These characteristics become abundant. Ones chosen against become rare, even extinct. Life on Earth has been constantly changing. But if artificial selection is capable of making such changes in a matter of a thousand years, what must natural selection operating on a scale of billions of years be capable of. The mechanism of evolution is natural selection. So, what are your first thoughts? Do you agree? Disagree? Yes? Well, it depends on what you believe, I think, considering evolution is a theory, right? Do you have something to add, Indrid? Fact, evolution, and natural selection are facts. Can you explain? The stronger traits of living organisms will ensure its survival through the generations while the weaker ones will be bred out over time. It's simple. It's the world's way of perfecting itself. Survival of the fittest. It's why we're here today. If you're alive, it's because something has decided for you to be alive. Like God. God has nothing to do with it. Paige. Yeah. So I'll see you here tomorrow? Same time? Yeah, of course. See you then. Yeah? I went grocery shopping. Congratulations. What are you drawing? I bought you candy cakes. Why didn't you go to your interview the other day? <sighs> Tired, right? No, I, I really don't want to hear any more excuses. How many other interviews have you missed? Tyler, I honestly, I just forgot. Yeah, you, you forgot. Of course you forgot. You're always forgetting something. Or maybe you just got another migraine. Maybe that's why. Tyler, why are you always attacking me? Why am I? Are you kidding? When are you ever going to get it together? I'm 17 years old, for Christ's sake, and I'm the one taking care of you. Hello, what is wrong with this picture? I know I'm difficult, you know, but I'm trying. I'm, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm trying. Hey, if this is you trying, I don't even want to know what you're not trying is like. Don't you want to do something with your life? Of course. Then do it. By the way, I don't even like candy cakes. Indrid? Yeah. Do you think it's crazy to fall in love?
Romeo and Juliet fell in love. That ended well, didn't it? My drugs are quick. That's with a kiss. I die, die, die. <laughs> I'm being serious, Andrew. Love. Love is supposedly the whole driving force behind everything that makes humans human. Yeah? Without love, then what? What would people do with themselves? Hmm? My parents. They were once supposedly in love. Now they can't even stand to look at each other. It has to take some work. Maybe it's not as easy as it seems. When you get married, you swear an oath, right? Till death do us part, I do solemnly swear, blah, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And then, uh, a few years after, it's over. I mean, if you swear to something like that, and then soon after it's over, it's, uh, it's meaningless. If love fails, the one true good thing that exists in this world, if that fails, what else is there to keep you from falling apart? Love can't save us, Ty. Yo, been looking for you. Why is that? Something happened with Samantha. Seems pretty bad from what Brian's telling me. We're down by the lobby now. You coming? Uh, yeah. I just need to take care of something first. What the hell's in the bag, man? Just cleaning out my locker. crashed his car last night. He's in the hospital. Oh. What happened? He was racing, lost control, jumped a guardrail into the woods. Jesus. We're not sure he's gonna make it. This was bound to happen at some point. If you do stupid shit, stupid shit is bound to happen to you. Jeez, Andred. You can maybe be a little more sensitive. Sensitive? Sure, I can be sensitive. I should have gone right up to Sammy and told her how sorry I was that her boyfriend didn't have the brain capacity needed to make intelligent decisions. I mean, the pieces were laid out for everyone to see. I don't get why everyone's so shocked about what happened. Wes knew exactly what he was getting himself into, but he didn't listen to anyone. And that was his choice. Let's go. Wanna hang out my place tonight? I got a bunch of gas in the garage. You can blow shit up. Probably can't tonight. And why is that? I was thinking about going to the dance. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you kidding? No, I think I'm really gonna go. Is it because Paige is going? 
Well, I mean, she'll be there. Probably just gonna swing by and check it out, you know? You ever think she might be using you? Using me? For what? A shoulder to cry on? I mean, she started talking to you right after she broke up with Matt. You know that, right? That's what girls do, Ty. I mean, uh, in order to get their minds off their exes, they look for rebounds. And I see her and Matt together all the time. Are you serious? I wouldn't lie to you. Get back inside.
because you're screwing my system means you can fuck with me. Excuse me? You mess with people because it makes you feel like you're in control, right? Save me the sob story, pussy. What happens a day when you are anymore? You got your head shoved so far up your ass, you're blind to the simple truth. Then what might that be, tough guy? When shit hits the fan, there won't be a goddamn thing you can do about it. All right, guys, enough. Break it up. Shouldn't I be speaking with the principal about this? Yeah, well, he's out right now, okay? So you'll be talking to me. Do you even care what happened, or are you just following protocol? The book? Look, I'm here to keep things under control whenever there's a problem. Is that what you're implying, that I'm a problem? No. I'm saying I'm here to keep things under control. Okay? Do you think your presence makes a difference in what goes on here? I would tread very carefully right now, Indrid. This is my office that you're in. You're not in the classroom with your buddies. You got me? Do you ever wish for something to go wrong? Maybe add a little excitement to this place. Look, I'm not sure what you're dealing with right now, Indrid. But I'll be happy to set you up with Mrs. Delancey from Guidance, if you'd like somebody to talk to. Guidance? Why didn't I think of that? Oh, a nice chat with Mrs. Delancey will fix me up, right? You think it's that simple? No, I don't think it's that simple, Indrid. I think it's a start. Or maybe I could run away from my problems. Hide behind a desk and hope they won't find me. Excuse me? I know about you. You used to be a cop. You were wounded on the job. You were shot, weren't you? You don't know anything about me or my past. I know that you tried to be a hero once and that didn't work out too well. You're out of line right now, young Taylor man. Taylor Reeves was my friend. Name ring a bell? She'd be a senior now, just like me. She was the one person that made me feel like I wasn't worthless. She had dreams and aspirations, but I guess she didn't make it this far, did she? You got some nerve talking about something you know nothing about? I know, because I was there. I lived two houses down. I remember that night. I remember that night vividly. You couldn't save her. You couldn't save anyone that night. So what makes you think you can help anyone now? People make mistakes, Andrew. Everyone makes mistakes. But not everyone pays for them. understood it. What were they thinking? Hail Marys don't work. They never do. They never will. Absolute fools. End of story. Anytime. You always have the answer right inside. Just ask yourself, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Get out of my room. Why do you always have to start shit? I started shit. You're, you're kidding, right? Why can't you just stay out of my life, Indrid? I don't care about your life. Are we finished here? You know what? You bitch, and you moan about how other people can't keep their mouths shut, but from the looks of it, you can't either. <laughs> Sometimes people just need to be put in their place. So what gives you the right to put anyone in their place? You're just like everybody else. And if anyone needs to be put in their place, it's you. We'll see about that. Stop acting so tough, Indrid. You never survive in a real fight. Who said anything about fighting? 
You obviously won't do shit. Steve would kick your ass in a heartbeat, just like Matt did that one day. You know what your problem is? And the whole world's problem is? What, Ingrid? Enlighten me. Judge people by their size and not by what they're capable of. And what could you possibly be capable of? You have no fucking idea. Get out! Out! Go! Sunshine, how are we doing? Good. Time for school. How excited are you? I'm not. One to ten. One. Ah. Uh... Oh man. When was the last time your mom went shopping, or do you guys just not eat? You ready, princess? So you hear if Wes is doing any better? Well, the last time I talked to Samantha, she said he had another surgery. He's still not awake. It's too freaky, man. You know, here one day, gone the next. He's not gone yet. Hey, man, can I see you later? Why? Why do you always have to ask questions? Just give it here. What's this? Happy birthday. It's your birthday? Happy birthday, man. Yeah, happy birthday. How'd you know? Make a wish. You're the first to remember. And besides your mom, right? No, but it's okay. I'd be surprised if she actually did remember. Well, it's all good, man. It's your day. Make the best of it. Shouldn't you be doing actual work? <laughs> I was hoping I'd catch you before I left. Is everything okay? Yeah, um... You know, we have that big test coming up next week. Would you like to study together? <sighs> yeah, well... When were you thinking? Um, are you busy tomorrow after school? Tomorrow's perfect. Okay. Uh, 
Can we meet at my table? Absolutely. Tyler, do you have any plans tonight? Are you sure it's okay that I'm here? Yeah, of course. My parents are out and won't be back for a while. Don't be so distant. So tell me about your future, Tyler. About your plans once you get out of here. I never really gave it any thought. Are you serious? How come? I've just never really had time to focus on myself, let alone on what I wanted to do with my future. Why do you say that? I've had to take care of my mom all these years, make sure she stayed on track after my dad left. I'm afraid if I leave her, she won't make it. I just wish she would accept the responsibilities for herself because I can't always be there. I won't always be there. I don't ask for much. I don't ask for anything. I, I just wish she would notice what I've done for her. And the sacrifices I've made, I... I just want to be seen for once in my life. I see you. What's wrong? You've got to be kidding me. No, Tyler, please. I, I just can't. I can't. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Tyler, please. I, I, I can't. Yeah, what? Huh? I can't. After all this, we're here again. We're back here again. I know. I know. I know. I am sorry. Don't I say it. Don't, don't, don't even. Moment. Don't say it! Don't you say you're sorry because I know you're not. Your words are hollow. Tyler, just leave me so alone. So what? So you can sit there and drown yourself in regret? You're finished. You are absolutely finished. There's nothing else you're, I can Just do stop, you. Tyler. Stop it. Stop it. You seem to be doing just fine on your own. You know, all I ever did was hold you back. Me, you don't need me, you see. Is this what you want? 
Is this what you want, to be like this? You think this is gonna change anything? Has it changed anything? <laughs> I just, I... You know, I really thought things were gonna be different this time around. There was a moment when I actually thought you were gonna pull through and we were finally gonna make it past all this together. <laughs> oh, just leave, just leave, just leave your father to just That leave. left because he didn't want to accept the responsibilities of being a parent. Don't he was a that. fucking coward. You listen to her. All I ever did was take care of you. You got some nerve comparing me to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. baby. No, you're not. You're pathetic. <laughs> you're finished. <laughs> Today's my birthday. You remember that? I... You want to know I, what I wish for, Mom? I was gonna... You want to know what I wish for? What? What? I wish for you, Mom. For us. <laughs> and that we would finally make it together. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Tyler! T Tyler! Tyler! You know you're not supposed to be in here, right? I know, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sit down, tell I just needed to get away for a little. What's on your mind, girls? Is it that obvious? <laughs> well, if there's someone in your life that makes you a better person, don't let go. We gotta fight for what we believe in, right? I'm so tired of fighting. We're challenged every day in life, Tyler. But it's the challenges that shape us. And now we carry ourselves in times of adversity. Only defines who we are, yeah? That man, when you were a cop, did you stop him? Yes. He shot first. I had no choice. What happened to the mother and daughter? They were uh, caught in between. I was always told that their wounds didn't come from my gun, but I just could never stop thinking that they did. Something I carry around. 
down with me every day. I feel it. It's like a knot in your stomach. I can't undo it. I see so many people in pain. I just can't block the thought that I can't help them. That hasn't stopped you from trying, has it? Then there's still some fight left in you. And in you. What do you want, Mom? Uh, I was thinking we can go somewhere and talk. <laughs> there is nothing to talk about. Baby, please. I am not your baby. Look. I know I've, I've been a real asshole lately, and I'm sorry. But I just, can we start over? Come on. I am not wasting any more time with you, so I'll make this quick. You are a terrible person. And, and I'm sick of everything you put me through. We're finished. I don't want to talk to you again. Don't even say anything. You were the biggest mistake I ever made. Stop doing that. You really need to stop getting in my way. Have you seen Tyler? No. I haven't. Why? We were supposed to meet today. It's so sad. How you look for pity from anyone stupid enough to give in to you. I, I don't I think understand. just because you had a bad day, the world should stop and feel sorry for you. I know what you're trying to do. You think you can use Tyler as a shoulder to cry on? He's got enough on his plate already. Indrid, I'm not. You know how many people would kill, kill to have your life? You haven't had to worry about a goddamn thing since the day you were born. You have no idea what a bad day really feels like. But one day, one day you will. And when that day comes, be on your knees, praying to go back to days like these. I see you, and you're just a prissy little bitch who knows nothing about how hard life can be. What's wrong with you? I just have a lot on my mind. Let me guess. Uh, Paige. I saw her and Matt together today. Yeah, and? I don't know if, uh... Damn it, Andrew, don't. Just tell me. They were making out. Outside, by where the buses park. 
I told you, man. She never got over him. I can't believe I actually thought things were different. It was stupid to even think she wanted anything to do with me. I shouldn't have said anything. No. I needed to know. I had a feeling it was too good to be true. You think I'm a complete idiot, don't you? Not at all, Ty. Not at all. You just have too much faith in people. I know. But in the back of my mind, I always think things might change. That people might come around. People don't change. They never do. They can't. You never had faith in people? I see in the people. I see what they really are. And I see the worst in them. Maybe you just never gave them a chance. And why the hell should I? Who the hell has ever given me a chance? I've been in the dark my whole life. When things get rough, the only thing that will be there for you is yourself. It won't be the world. It won't be God. Neither of them have done a damn thing for me. Yeah, I know. And why even give them a chance? God, the world, they have left us behind to rot. <laughs> When's this gonna stop? When the world burns. Tyler, wait. What do you want, Paige? Can we please talk? There's nothing to talk about. Indrid came up to me yesterday and... No, 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 I'm not falling for that crap. Indrid is my friend. He warned me about you. What are you talking about? I mean, about your little games, your little secrets. Now you're coming up to me trying to talk bad about Indrid? No, I'm not falling for it. I don't want to argue. I'm just worried about okay, you. Look, Paige, this is too hard for me. I can't keep doing this. I, I care about you, but Tyler, I... Tyler, what is happening to you? Indra told me... What? What did Indra tell you, Tyler? I don't know what he's been filling your head with about me, but I know it's not true. I wouldn't lie to you. Just believe me. I don't know what to believe anymore. I know what Indra is. He's no good, Tyler. He's bringing you down with him. Can't you see that? You're a good person, Tyler. I see it in you. Just please don't push me away. I have to go.
Indrid? Yeah. We're friends, right? Like you have my back and stuff. Are you serious? Haven't I been there for you since day one? I'm pretty sure I got a cracked rib over you. What made you bring that up? Does this have anything to do with Paige? Did she say something to you? Ask yourself this, Ty. How many rough spots have you found yourself in since she's been in the picture, hmm? And of all the shit she's drug you into, who's the only person that pulled you out? Me. Just remember that. She'll get what's coming to her. What do you mean by that? What is it with you, huh? The bitch plays you for a fool, screws with your head, and dropped you like a bad habit, and you still give her the benefit of the doubt? I don't get it. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Who was at the door? Jehovah's Witness. Those people have got some nerve. Can you give me a ride back to my place? You don't want to finish this game. I think I already know how it's going to end. I'll be able to give you a ride tomorrow. I got something I gotta take care of. Hey, it's Tyler. Hey. Uh, Tyler, I'm, I'm so glad you called. I know I ran off on you earlier. No, Tyler, it's okay. No. It's not. You needed me to hear you, and I didn't. Just... Just tell me what's going on. 
I know I don't always say what I'm thinking and that I keep most of it inside. But I'm just scared of what you might think if I told you how I felt and what it really means. You can tell me anything, Tyler. It's just there's so much going on inside, you know? And I'm being pulled in every direction. I get so lost sometimes. Can we meet? Can you come to my place in the morning? Uh, I, I have a study group, first period. I could come right after. If you can't, I'll understand. But if you change your mind, I'll be waiting for you. I hope you come. Tyler, you're scaring me. Bye, Paige. Tyler! Tyler! inside your heart. Accept Jesus into your life today, for tomorrow is promised to no one. You do not want to be caught off guard when judgment comes, and judgment is coming soon. We must have absolution this very day. Because where will you be when judgment comes? Where will you be when the world ends? You must remember Revelation 6, 8, my friends. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Oh, the king's horses, and all the king's men, that for back. Get her again. Where will you be on the day of reckoning? Where will you be?
thought you had something to do. Get out of here, Tyler. What's going on, Andrew? Go home. Is Mr. Stevenson in yet? He should be here any minute. Can you make sure he gets this? What, what is that? Please, it's an emergency. What kind of... left here for you. They said it was an emergency. Okay, thank you. Mom, something very bad is gonna happen today at school. If I can stop it, I promise I will. I couldn't stop Dad from killing himself. I can't seem to stop you from killing yourself either. But maybe I can stop some things that are even worse. If I can't, know that I tried. When Paige gets here, keep her safe. Keep her here until you hear from me. Or until you simply hear. for Indrid. You can't have her. Hi. Let's go. Oh my God. That's okay. Doesn't change a damn thing anyways. All for nothing. No, not for nothing. For what then? For love. Why does it mean so much to you? Because without it, we're monsters, Indris. What do you think you are? No. No. I know you lied about Derek, about Paige, about everything. How do you do this to someone? To me? Answer me, you coward! Look at this. Look who finally decided to step up like a man. Why don't you man up and tell me the truth, you snake? Easy. Now, Ty. Easy. You are in no position to be arguing with me. Why'd you even bother pretending? At one point, I thought I'd take you along for the ride. I confided in you. I trusted you. You don't think I confided in you? You don't think I trusted you? Hmm? I was there for you since the beginning. And you turned your back on me for what? For what? Some insipid idea? Some bitch? Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself, Indrid. It's not how you think it is. I know how it is. 
how we carry ourselves in times of adversity defines who we are. And our actions ultimately determine what we're really made of. This isn't the way it has to end. It doesn't have to be this way. Anymore. It was always meant to be this way. All of it. Who I am, what I've done, what I'm about to do. I've been fighting since the day I was born. And I am sick of it. Now, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do this thing. And there isn't anything you can do to change that. You're so certain about everything, Hendred. Who's gonna stop me?